Healthy living tonight, news for anyone who's ever been, for instance, kept waiting in the doctor's office. We have word that 13 medical schools around the country are about to institute a significant change. They are going to test future doctors on their aptitude with patients, bedside, office-side manner. And ABC's chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is here with a kind of call to arms about what patients deserve. You know, that's right. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a patient. And I know how tough it can be to ask those questions when you're with your doctor. So tonight, I'm here to empower you. And you have said you have this right that doctors do not keep you waiting. That's right. You have the right to not be kept waiting by your doctor. And it happens time and time again. One of our producers here was complaining to, to me about this, and I asked her to, to show me what, what she does. But, but it happens over and over again. Occasionally there's an emergency, and that's acceptable. But that should be explained to you, and, and you should receive an apology. And you were telling me about a woman who got her doctor to pay her when he kept her waiting? I think that this is absolutely beautiful. Elaine Farstad decided her, her time was worth something. So she calculated how much it was worth, she sent a bill to her doctor, and she collected. So here's what I'm telling you tonight. Send your doctor a bill or tell your doctor's office that if you're kept waiting, you're going to find another doctor. And second on your list, and this is tough for absolutely everybody, how you ask for a second opinion in the right way. It's the hardest thing for a patient to do and the most important. So I took our producer and I said, okay, let me teach you how you go about asking for a second opinion in the right way. And, and watch how she did. Jane, unfortunately, you have a ruptured disc in your back and you need to have surgery. Okay, but I would really feel more comfortable if I could get a second opinion. No problem. Is, is there someone you'd like to see or, or could I recommend a couple people? All right, so key words, I would feel more comfortable. That's right. You know, she did it in a way that didn't make me feel defensive. You know, she, she acknowledged that I gave her an opinion, but then expressed this comfort. And for a doctor, a good doctor, that tells you she's, she's taking charge of her own health, and it gives us an opportunity to develop a more trusting relationship. It's so important. All right, so you have to do it. And I want to tell everybody that you're going to come back with two more on your list. That's and, of right. course, all of this will be online, a kind of patient's bill of rights from Dr. Besser. Thanks, Rich.